Today I'm here to introduce you to a brand new Leapfrog Barbarian build inside of Diablo Immortal. And this is a similar build to the Inferno build that I shared with you just about two weeks ago. But it has implemented Leap with a couple of new pieces of gear as well. This build really is going to increase your mobility inside of the game as well as a ton of damage that you can drop while you're running through. It's extremely impressive and it's one that I've in some way implemented myself. Why try share with me this build? He's our uh, our veteran barbarian player here on the channel that really brings me a lot of great builds that I try out myself often. I'll be linking his Discord server in the description of this video in case you want to go check out his server and see all the tips and guides that he has for Diablo Immortal. Now, why don't we go ahead and actually stop this right here and take a look at what the build actually looks like as we play this one right here. As you can see, he's got a nice looking Barbarian right here, maxed out on the secondary gear, 21 and change, 1000 resonance, and he has four awakened gear slots. Of course, this is our primary goal. He's also sitting with 3200 resonance, so he has those 3000 wings. He's going with the Flagellant uh, two, four piece, and he's going with the Vethuz two piece. So that is essentially the same that we were using in the Inferno build as well. That's also the same that I'm using. Lasting Hate is the headpiece. This has not changed. And this Lasting Hate is going to work on Berserker's Eye. It's going to make sure, I'm um, sorry, Wrath of the Berserker. It's going to make sure that the duration is decreased so that you have more time with it. The duration of the cooldown that is we have whirlwind now sheds armor in the five fresh claws chest piece that was a change as well and now shocking chaos this is going to make a stunning and shocking landing when you use leap it's going to electrify it stunning all the enemies that's something brand new as well as these flat uh these flattener pants that are being worn right here uh, they are also going to change up how the build works from what we previously have done. It's going to increase leap charges by one. Now, remember, when you use leap, if you hit enemies that were not struck before and they haven't been touched, each enemy that you hit is going to have take one second off the cooldown of leap, which is nine seconds. So if you hit nine enemies that weren't touched, you could instantly leap again. These two weapons, your primary and your secondary, have not changed. They are the same weapons that we've seen in our previous build, and they are very important to really enhance Whirlwind and Wrath of the Berserker. But now we have the Selena's Iron. This one also changes how Leap works, and this is one that I'm actually not using in my build. Leap causes the ground to shake where you land, dealing a ton of damage to enemies in the area, which is really nice as well, really building out on how the Leap works. And then, of course, we have this one right here, which is going to do exactly what we had seen in the past. Now, what's going to go back to this little battle here as we watch him finish out this dungeon. You'll see how he rolls. He's burning with Wrath of the Berserker. He's whirlwinding through anything that he has to kind of cut through. And then he's leaping from one thing to the next. What I like a lot about this build, not only the damage it deals, because it's unbelievable with the amount of damage that it'll deal, but also the mobility. When you whirlwind, you could essentially whirlwind through anything and not get jammed up or stuck. You could sprint through anything and not get jammed up or stuck. And now you can leap over or through anything whenever you happen to get stuck and you're able to get out of it. So your evasion abilities are massive. Now, you're not really losing anything either from the previous build. I was using Undying Rage with my previous build, which was really a waste of a skill slot, essentially. So I could easily throw Leap into that spot, even without changing any of the gear. I could throw in Leap, and I'm still going to be able to get essentially unlimited Leaps. Because when I play, I look for groups of enemies that are just lying around the map, and I just jump on top of them. They have not yet been struck. If there are five in that bundle and I hit five of them, my leap, the cooldown is cut down from nine seconds down to three seconds because I hit five enemies that had not yet taken damage. So really, I don't know that I would pull out leap from the pants or I would pull out my sprint duration from the pants to put in an extra leap charge. I don't know that it's something that I would personally do, but I also like for sprint to be on and live as long as I possibly can. All of these guides are just that. They are general guides as to how you should build out your class and how you want it to look. But I'm telling you what, if I just go back to the beginning here and we take a look, 
the leapfrogging is a ton of fun. It's super fast. You can just run through dungeons. Like, look, he just jumps from one batch to the next, right on top of them, whirlwinding through, leaping on top. It's a fun build. It's super easy to put together. And remember, if you don't have all the gear needed to do this, go to the, the merchant, do your gambling with your gold, and unlock the essences that you need so you can put these builds together. There are quite a few really fun barbarian builds right now, ones that are also really good for elder and challenge rifts. Think about it, guys. Challenge rifts, you're trying to go through as quickly as you can. You wanna get through that rift fast. This is a fast build. You can sprint. You can leap, you can Wrath of the Berserker and Whirlwind through everything until you get to the final boss, then crush him and get a really sick time when you're running it. I love the build. I use it myself for the most part. I did make a few tweaks of my own, but for the leap build, for what actually the leap build is built for and what it looks like, this is the best example. Let me know if you try out this build on your Barbarian class and if you like it or if you don't, let me know in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe for daily, that's right, daily Diablo Moral videos.